Hey everyone, it's your Survivor buddy Gordon Holmes here, uh, checking in during the Survivor off season, Survivor 45. It seems like since Survivor 45, nothing new or newsworthy has happened. It's been so quiet in the Survivor community. Uh, anyway, I wanted to let you know uh, there was a, a project I've been working on. Uh, I digitized all the tapes I had uh, from the pregame for Survivor Gabon, Survivor uh, South Pacific, and Survivor Nicaragua. It's all pregame interviews, behind the scenes footage. I'm not quite sure what to do with it. Um, what I have for you today is Corinne Kaplan's uh, pregame interview. It's short. Um, it's not the format used to with me doing a back and forth. It's very much me asking questions and them editing it together, and, and I wouldn't even be featured in it. So it was a very different time, learning learning what I was supposed to be doing back then. It's interesting, though, because uh, when I went to Gabon, as I was interviewing the cast, I was having a wonderful time, because, again, a huge fan of the show. But it wasn't until I got to Corinne Kaplan, and she was so amazing, hilarious, that I was like, this is what I was born to do. This is why I was put on this earth. Oh, hello. Get back up there. Uh, but yeah, so uh, here's her pregame interview. Uh, if you're interested in this content, let me know. Like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want to see more and more of this, because I'll keep doing it. Otherwise, you know, we'll just leave this as a one and done kind of thing. If, if nobody's really interested, we'll just leave it to history. But again, this footage hasn't been seen a light of day uh, for years and years, probably around 10 years. Uh, so if you're interested, let me know. Uh, with that being said, uh, let's see what uh, Corinne had to say before Survivor Gabon 15 years ago. My name is Corinne Kaplan. I work as a pharmaceutical sales rep. Um, I live in LA, I just moved there from New York, and I'm 29 years old. Now, we all know you're going to win Survivor. We know it. So, tell me why. H how are you going to get there? Um, let's see, uh, how am I going to do that? That's a good question. I'm going to basically control my talking so that I don't offend anyone. I'm going to try and play the game strategically. I'm going to be a strong physical competitor, I hope. I've been training really hard for it. Um, I'm going to allow people to think that they're closer friends of mine than they are. Um, and I'm going to align myself with some strong people as well. But I can't really determine any of that until I meet the other contestants, like, full on. So it's sort of the kind of thing that you get thrown into it and then you figure it out, I hope. Okay. Is there a, a moral line you won't cross? No. Definitely I'm sorry, could not. you say that again with that? Is no. There... <laughs> you want to ask me again? I'll ask again. Is there a moral line you won't cross? No. Would you There's, care to expound upon that? I mean, there really is no... It's a million dollars. There's nothing that I wouldn't do for the million. So I could really care less whose feelings get hurt or any of that. Perfect. Um, are, are you a Survivor fan? No. Not at all. <laughs> um, actually, I was found off the internet. I didn't even audition. <laughs> um, I never watched the show. Never even liked it but I will say this I've obviously watched a ton of it now that I'm gonna be on it and I think it's an incredibly complicated well done show it's just the kind of thing that you've got to get on board with the first episode so that you can follow the players and really like get into it and I never had so not a fan of the show I had never watched it before I was thrown into this now that you've seen it are there have you noticed any mistakes people are making that you uh, don't intend to replicate that's a good question um I would say that something important to remember is like your best friend stabs you from the front. Everybody's your enemy. There's nobody who's your friend. So you don't want to fall into the pit of, you know, covering somebody else's ass with your community idol or whatever. There's no friends. Nobody. You have your own friends at home. This is not a game to make friends. Great answer. Uh, what are your first impressions of Africa? Gabon Gublos. I hate it. <laughs> hate it. Not to mention that. If you look around, honestly, besides the fact that it's totally unsanitary and the food's terrible, it looks like any other goddamn beach. It doesn't look like Africa. I thought it was going to be like, you know, really... I don't know. I haven't seen any animals. So, I don't know. I, I, don't, think, I don't think it was worth the 20 plus hours to fly here. Um, just as an aside, you complete me. That was amazing. <laughs> uh, when you win the million, because you're gonna, what are you going to do with it? Um... Here's the thing, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I know what I'm not gonna do with it. I will not be saving any puppies, any small children, whales, whatever. It will not be going to charity, none of it. Which of your personality traits is best gonna serve you in the game of Survivor? Um, hmm. I'm very straightforward. Um, I don't know if that's gonna help me though. I think my intelligence, I'm very smart. I think I'm smart. So I think that I'll play the game strategically um, I'll be able to anticipate moves before they happen, I hope. Do you have any experience roughing it? Zero. I went to sleepaway camp as a kid, a Jewish sleepaway camp, which is not roughing it. 
Definitely not roughing it. Tell me about what happens at a Jewish sleepaway camp. Oh, um, we take once a week mall trips. Cost your parents when I went, which was years and years ago, it was like six grand for the summer, which back then was a lot of money. Um, oh, it's you have socials, it's very, there's air conditioning in the bunks. It is not roughing it. I've never slept outside. Fantastic. Now, these questions are from the uh, podcast event readers. Um, if you were stranded on a, des a deserted island with anybody in the world you, that you could, who would you want to be stranded with? Who else? You know who I've always wanted to meet? Heidi Fleiss. She's a badass bitch. I would like to be stranded with Heidi Fleiss. Perfect. Uh, if you could have any movie with you, what would it be? Uh, actually, I really like the movie Wet Hot American Summer. I've watched it like a million times. I just think it's really funny. It doesn't get enough credit. I would watch that again, I guess. Okay. And any book? I really hate reading. Um, uh, that'd be a stretch. I really, I can't stand reading. I've had to read here because there's no TV and it's brutal. Okay, now um, as a contestant in Survivor Gabon, there's of course four things you have to worry about. Hippos, elephants, gorillas, and being shot in HD. <laughs> Which of the four concerns you the most? Oh my God, please, being shot in HD, are you kidding? I'm so freaked out about that. I do not have enough time to get laser hair removal. I'm working with just a waxing job here. That's gonna last for maybe two weeks. <laughs> and then, you know, it's gonna be a lot of uh, shots with Corinne in shorts. And if you could describe yourself in one word, what would that one word be? Conniving?